The First City Dance Studio hit the stage this weekend for their annual performance of The Nutcracker, but this year was extra special. Our own Cheryl Moore has that in this week's Community Spotlight. It's a beloved classic in the world of dance. One of my favorite parts about Christmas is the Nutcracker, so just gets me in the spirit. But this year, performing the Nutcracker was extra special for the First City Dance Studio. So this is actually our 10th anniversary Nutcracker for the studio, which is amazing. We've had so much growth. We have dancers that are a little mother gingers that have now progressed to be our principal roles. My first Nutcracker, I got really nervous, but now since I've been in the Nutcracker for a lot of years, I'm not nervous. Clara's dream came to life at the historic Chief Theater in Bemidji this weekend. The show incorporated all different kinds of dances, from tap, jazz, and musical theater, to of course ballet. The Nutcracker is stereotypically just ballet, but we have so many kids that love more than just ballet, and really want to incorporate that and make sure everyone loves it and feels the Christmas spirit. I really like the battle scene. It's where I fight the Mouse King, and that's really fun. It's probably my favorite part. Tonight's performance of the Nutcracker featured dozens of dancers and more than a few costume changes. The dancers have been working since October to pull this off. I think five choreographers that work with this, and really they each get a certain scene or a group and then really choreograph the music and the certain aspects that this group would have. And for the performers, the best part is seeing their hard work pay off. Really exciting and it's a lot of work so then like when you're on stage you're not nervous or you freeze. We have to really really practice a lot to be this part and we have to not be nervous and be really excited and basically just be acting, waiting backstage and getting all the excitement and you're just you're wearing a crown and you have this beautiful dress on and you're just so excited to go and show what you can do. At the end of the day not a bun was out of place and the dancers walk away with something special. The kids, they enjoy it so much, and it is opening another door to just smiling on stage. I think it really gives them growth. So just seeing the fun they have and the success they have out of it, really, as a choreographer, is what we love to see. In Bemidji, with this week's Community Spotlight, Shrell Moore, Lakeland News. The studio will start back up in January. If you're interested in joining, we have that contact information online with this story. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.